Joel Embiid has been on another level in this year's playoffs. The recently gifted MVP of the league has been dominant in just about every aspect of the game. You are the 2023 Kia NBA MVP. His scale, there isn't a single defender in the league who can overpower him, so he can basically just play bully ball all game long inside the paint. But the thing is, that isn't what he always does. You see, Embiid has some of the best footwork we've ever seen from someone his size. This is what makes him truly unguardable. And what honestly adds the cherry on top of his dominance is his exceptional free throw shooting ability. Embiid not only led the NBA in free throws made during the regular season, but he's also doing the same thing in the playoffs. This is why he could easily average 30 plus points for years to come because due to how great he is in the post. The only way to stop him is by fouling him. And based on his 11 free throw attempts per game, defenses are obviously fouling him a whole lot. And since he's such a good free throw shooter, that's basically 10 free points every single game. He's just on another level. This is where I think Nikola Jokic and Embiid differ so much because while Jokic is dominant in other ways such as passing, rebounding, and post scoring, he has more of a finesse and awkward style. Embiid without a doubt pops out much more on the screen. His brute strength and size is just too much for anyone to handle. But in the midst of all of this inside terror, Joel is also one of the best mid-range shooters in the NBA. In fact, He's ranked ahead of players like Kawhi, Paul George, SGA, Kyrie, and Bradley Beal from the mid-range. He's simply elite everywhere on the offensive end. And when it comes to passing, while he doesn't possess the Joker's ability, Embiid still is one of the best big man passers in the NBA. And he was basically forced to be an elite passer. Due to all of the reasons we just went over, Embiid gets doubled and even tripled by teams on every other possession. So it was absolutely crucial for him to be able to make plays for others in the mid post area. And that's why he averages four assists per game. On the defensive end, he's absolutely elite here as well. He's never really mentioned among the top block 
blockers in the league, which is because his block averages during the regular season aren't as high as defenders like Jaron Jackson Jr., Nick Claxton, or Brooke Lopez. But during the playoffs, Embiid always takes his defense to another level. In fact, he's second only behind Anthony Davis in blocks per game in the playoffs with 2.9. His rim protecting presence is huge. And when he's not out there, you really begin to understand his value on that end of the floor. But while Joel is a great player individually, basketball is a team sport. And he cannot go to the finals without a little help from a few teammates, starting with Fear the Beard, James Harden. In order for the 76ers to make a successful playoff run, Harden has to get it going on all cylinders. And we all know he sometimes struggles with consistency in the playoffs. But when he has it going, the duo between him and Embiid is arguably the best in the league. And while he isn't prime Houston Rockets Harden, who was averaging 36 points per game in 2018, the 33-year-old still has a lot of that magic inside him now. He is still a masterful ISO scorer who can get to the rim and draw fouls maybe better than anyone the game has ever seen. Scene. And yes, while his flopping can become kind of annoying, it still puts points on the board. And if those points help you win, at the end of the day, a win is a win. A lot of people don't realize this, but this season, Harden shot his best three-point percentage since 2011. He shot 38% on a high volume of seven attempts per game. So he was one of the more consistent and accurate shooters All in all, Joel Embiid is the most dominant player in the NBA, no question about that. And other than Steph Curry, he might be the most perfect player in the game. He has no significant weakness. He's an elite post scorer, elite mid-range shooter, elite free throw shooter, great rebounder, great defender, great passer, and the list goes on. And with his talented supporting cast, the sky is the absolute limit for Coach Rivers in the city of Philadelphia. But what do you think? Can Embiid lead this team to the NBA Finals? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.